Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Ken Levine, singer and vocal coach here on YouTube. And today we have a suggestion from one of our dear subscribers to review and look at and listen to Brian Justin Crum, a singer who I don't know at all, but apparently was quite a big deal back in 2016 when he competed in America's Got Talent. And this is from Jamie, who is um, one of our dear subscribers here on the channel. Whenever it's convenient for you, I can be very patient. Brian Justin Crum covers Celine Dion. It's all coming back to me now. Celine Dion, the songstress from Quebec, who has taken the world by storm and is, I think, maybe in retirement now. I'm not entirely sure. You see her name sometimes on those tabloids. I don't believe whatever. I don't even know what reality is anymore. But we are going to dive into the very real vocal stylings of Brian Justin Crum right now. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> In-ear monitors. There were nights when the wind was so cold. <laughs> Out of the gate. <laughs> oh, man. There were nights when the wind was so cold. I can't even hit that top note. What is that? A B flat, B5. Wow. Yeah, just ready to nail it. I just want to see this again. He's staring down the camera. Look at that death stare. Whoa, Brian. <laughs> He's I'm going to nail it this time. Here we go. I want to listen to that again. That kind of just took... I was taken aback. It was good. There were nights when the wind was so cold That my body froze in bed just listen to it right outside the window there were days when the sun was so cruel that all the tears turned to dust and i just knew my eyes were drying up forever ah so everything's perfect everything's perfect <laughs> Pitch is perfect. Everything's perfect. The pronunciation, the articulation, it's just right where it needs to be. So much polish on this. When was this recorded? This must have... Let me see if I can get a date here. 2020. Okay, that makes sense. That's why all of the two musicians behind him are wearing masks. I'm over the initial just shock by how clear and pristine everything is. Let's just dive into the song, let it wash over us like a calming wave, and see what he does with Celine Dion. I finished crying I just have to admit that it's all coming back to me When I touch you like this And when I hold you like that oh, Man, scaling back your voice so you can get a nice breathy uh, approach or onset and really get that intimacy down after that enormous opening uh, Just getting it just right I struggle with it in the studio. It takes me a while. It takes me a, a few takes. Everything's comped together at the end. But to do it, I perceive that this is done like live in the studio and then they have the camera doing like you might have done it multiple takes and then just taken the best version. When we did it the third time, it was great. And then they, they, the videographer cobbles everything together, making sure that everything lines up with that initial take and that's my perception I've done stuff like this before and that's how we did it so you get that intimacy of the live off the floor but that's just <laughs> so good uh, yeah 
Good singing. Good technique. Really good technique. Mm -hmm. It's so hard to believe that it's all coming back to me. It's all coming back. It's all coming back to me now. There were moments of cold and... Okay, what's going on here? There's like a vocal doubling. Is that just in the... Just in recording? To me. It's all coming back. It's all coming back to me now. There were moments of cold and there were flashes of light. There were things I'd never do again, but then they always seemed right. There were nights of endless pleasure. It was more than any loss allowed. Uh, doing video work is tough. This is really tough. I, I was not a natural at this, but look, okay, hang on. Just so much emotion happening here. And as the camera is panning off to the side, he's like staring it down. H how long should you stare into the camera as you're singing? And how long should you, like, <laughs> you don't want to creep people out. It needs to be natural. He's got it down. This is down to a fine art. So I'm just marveling at that. That's all. Nice vocal flip. Those little yodels in there just gives it that sensation of even in more intense emotion. Baby, baby, if I kiss you like this, and if you whisper like that, it was lost long ago, but it's all coming back to me. If you want me like this, and if you need me like that, it was dead long ago. Is, is Brian Justin Crumb, is he on Broadway? I don't know. It just seems like this style of singing would just kill on in musical theater. It just has that, I don't know, it has a character about it, about how he sings. This but you were history with the slamming of the door And I made myself so strong again somehow And I never <laughs> Look at this perfect teeth. <laughs> my time on you since then. But if I touch you like this. See, bringing that down, if you give it too much gas, you can, you know what I'm talking about, this high note right here. <sighs> give it a moment. Reclaim your posture. Make sure you're not holding any tension so you can add that breathy attack this at this point. But if I touch you like this, and if you kiss me like that, it was so long ago, but it's all coming back to me. If you touch me like this, and if I kiss you like that, it was gone with the wind, but it's all coming back to me. It's all coming back, it's all coming back to me now. There were moments of cold and there were flashes of light. There were things we'd never do again, but then they always seem right. There were nights of endless pleasure. It was more than any loss allowed. The danger of this line, when 
all coming back to me is overt nasality. Those uh, nasal consonants, the the sung M and N, can really pull your voice in a positionality that can lead you astray, but not Brian Justin Crum. There's... There, there's a little nasality in his tone, but it helps him produce the sounds that he needs to in order to really sell this song with all of that emotion. It's, it is great. It's just great. Good singing. Yeah, really. And little moments of uh, compression, a little moments of a um, uh, little bit of distortion, just enough to enhance the already incredible emotional power of a song like this. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I I actually have nothing to reference. I don't think I'm pretty sure I've never heard the original, but maybe somewhere in in the store somewhere you hear it over the loudspeaker that this sort of music version. Um, but it it didn't. I mean, it registers like I'm the the chorus, the big chorus. I I recognize that, but I never really paid attention to the tune. It's a barn burner. Wow. When you see me like this, and when I see you like that, then we see what we want to see all coming back to me. The flesh and the fantasies all coming back to me. I can barely recall, but it's all coming back to me now. If you forgive me all this, if I forgive you all that, we forgive and forget, and it's all coming back to me now. The stare down song stare down <laughs> yeah good job very good job and good job to you jamie for bringing this to my attention thank you so much jamie was so nice to leave a kind donation to the channel much appreciated thank you so much so i left a lot of comments throughout that performance what are your comments what are your thoughts what did you think of this what do you are you hearing things in a different way or was it was it your cup of tea i don't know i'm interested to know what your thoughts are also too let me let me direct you to that button down there that says subscribe where you can hit and join this fabulous community of vocal aficionados and uh, music lovers. Don't wait. Don't miss out on any of the great stuff that we produce here every week on the channel. And lastly, thank you so much for taking time out of your super busy day and spending a few of those precious moments here with me on the channel. Much love and appreciation to you all, and we will see you next time.